Well, let's move on by clearing up politics. Pete Buttigieg is playing weird J.D. Vance in debate practice for Tim Waltz. Well, Pete Buttigieg uh, uh, yesterday kind of put everybody on their ear because they're doing debate practice. Mm -hmm. October 1st uh, is going to be the vice presidential debate, and Pete Buttigieg, gay Pete Buttigieg, yes. Fox News star Pete Buttigieg, yes. is playing crazy, weird J.D. Vance in practice debates with, gov uh, with the governor from uh, Minnesota. Else. Yeah. Sources close to the event said Buttigieg intentionally played all of the weirdest aspects uh, of Senator J.D. Vance and all of his extremist weird positions and intentionally exaggerated all of them to get uh, the uh, uh, Minnesota governor prepared for the debate. Uh, the debate is going to be October 1st. We know all of you are going to tune in for it. Uh, more practices are planned between now and October 1st with uh, uh, P. Buttigieg, the Secretary of Transportation, playing Senator J.D. Vance. I love uh, it. On the news, what did you think? No, but that's okay. That's smart, though. You've got to be really intentional, right? And and just having these practice runs are really important, right? And who better to play J.D. Vance than Pete Buttigieg? I can just imagine him. It's just, like a Saturday like, Night Live skit. It really is. Like just, you know, extremely screaming about cats and catless and childless women and, you know, maybe grabbing a um, grabbing a prop of a couch or something. Who knows? You know, it could be so many different things. But it's needed because J.D. is off his rocker sometimes and you don't know what to expect from that man. Yeah. yeah. How do you think the, uh, the debate is going? Uh, uh, well, first, before I ask you that question, I'm going to ask you again. Uh, it's been kind of nice being away from it here and not paying attention yeah. to every minutia detail. Yes. It makes me wonder, are we overdosing on the potential poison to the J.D. Vance, Fox We are. Of course we are. So, so uh, how do you think the debate is going to go? How do you think... Uh, I think it's going to go fantastic. I think that Walsh is going to walk, like freaking clean the floor, okay, with J.D. Vance. I was watching last night, uh, because again, like you said, we're a little disconnected because we're over here on the other side of the world. I was watching the Oprah special with Kamala Harris, right. which was incredible. I know folks at home probably already saw it. And the invigoration, the energy behind behind Kamala and, and, and Mr. Wall, Mr. Wallace are just incredible. And they're prepared. They're going to make this happen, Al. You know that? So the debate coming up October 1st. You have lots of confidence in. I do. Yeah. I do. I do. Do you think the rest of the LGBTQ community is feeling that optimism and confidence? Or do you, do you think we're there yet? I think, I mean, I... I I don't think we're there yet. I mean, we talked about a poll just the other day about how 26% yeah. of, uh, of LGBTQ plus were still on the fence when it came to Kamala Harris. So, you know, they're a, they're a joint. They're a joint. You know, they're, they're together. They're a couple. So it's, um, you know, you've got to want both of them to be leading our nation. Yeah. Right? So, you know, it's, it's going to be an important debate to see how Walsh does. You know, if he can live up to all the hype when it's just you and your opponent, right, and a moderator. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm right there with you in optimism. I think Governor Waltz will do very well. One of the things I'm very excited about on this story is everything that Pete Buttigieg is doing now seems so incredibly intentional to me. As he introduced himself at the Democratic National Convention, you, you may remember me from Fox News. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just genius, and, and it warms him up as the gay political character mm -hmm. of the eventuality that he's going to be president of the United exactly, States. Exactly, which was also why I was kind of happy that he wasn't put as Kamala's running mate. It wasn't the right time. It's not, uh, it's not the right time. Or this America's is, not ready. America's not ready, but also strategically, right? He's laying down the footwork to make that happen in the future. That's right. I, I think very well said. All right, well, we're going to watch. Make sure you watch October 1st.